bench hook and then fix it to the bench with a hold fast. Knock that, I just have a scrap of wood underneath it to not dent the style with the hold fast. And then I give it one more hit in the back just to try to engage it with those teeth and I want it nice and solid. Ideally, the face of the piece you're mortising is plumb, and uh, this is close to it, so my bench is not uh, terribly reliable. Uh, but ultimately, I'll be guiding the mortise chisel, trying to sight it parallel to this. Uh, to this face. So, uh, having seen that sort of cutaway view of mortising, I'll just go through the steps again, um, starting, as I said, in the midst of the length of the mortise, and, or the height of the mortise, depending on how you look at it, and with the chisel at an angle there, just give that a good wrap and then turn it around and a little bit of back and forth and my uh, my view of this I'm, I'm directly over it and trying to sight that the chisel uh, the width of the chisel lines up with the width of struck with the mortise gauge Like so many operations in woodworking, mortising is uh, often a, a source for a heated discussion. And um, it doesn't much matter what way you cut them if you get the right result. And there are some I know who put the bevel down like that. I tried that a while. I have a hard time steering that way. And um, for me, the main thing is can you chop the mortise quickly, efficiently, and effectively? And that's the, that's the way to measure your technique. And I start just at the front end. take a few strokes to start that um, running. So of course <coughs> it's deeper right there at the shoulder now. It's almost three-eighths and here it's it's only one-eighth. Because here the skate is sitting up on the rail so it's kind of bumped to the plane up like this a bit. And that's okay for a minute. But, um, so down on the chisel itself with my fingers on the back of it, my thumb on the front, and my fingertips are on the top of the, the end of the rail. They're on the piece of wood. And then I'll just hit it with a mallet and the piece starts to break away. I have not put that chisel right in my line. I'm in front of my layout line there to see how it's splitting. And I knew this wood would split very well. So now I'm in the line, like that, and like that. You just have to pay attention to what you're doing. So in this case, on the back of it, I'll go the other way. I'll start here. And you see the way that's splitting. Go here. And then one more. Done.